All right, welcome back. So this is the frog suit. Uh, the frog suit allows you to have much better mobility in water. Uh, water doesn't uh, hamper your uh, or doesn't affect your gravity at all uh, when you have the frog suit. Um, the only downside to the frog suit is it's virtually useless on land. Ah, shoot. I freaking hate these things. Uh, Mario Maker uh, trolls love spamming those underneath blocks and stuff. But thankfully, Boom Boom goes down all the same. So here's the point of uh, defeating the fortresses. They unlock the locks in the overworld. And when that happens, if you end up game overing and get sent all the way back, all of your levels get reset. Except the uh, except the locks in the fortresses. Okay, I think this is the other yeah big boss or big bass. I think is its name. That. Jeez, it gets really high in this stage. Unfortunately, that does not uh, get rid of it forever. Uh, yeah, it just comes right back, unfortunately. Ah! No! <laughs> Jerk. Oh, now we gotta fight the, uh... This guy. I was gonna say, is it, uh... Jump down the one level, thank you. Alright, any items in any of these blocks? It is worth checking, obviously. Unfortunately, no items, just a star. I don't like the big boss la or big bass levels. I don't like this thing. Anything that can just one hit kill you, other than like lava, I, I just don't like. Hmm. Like, even having the fire flower only makes it tolerable, because he just keeps coming back. I honestly think is the main issue, the main thing I don't like about uh, the big bat. Uh. Right, they do uh, come back out of their shell if you don't throw them very after a while. It's a good thing we have a lot of lives, and I don't intend to finish this tonight, so... I just want to get a couple episodes uh, ready to go, because, uh... I did not want to uh, be waiting until the last minute to get uh, this series uh, recorded. Because I knew I was going to have some issues, uh, especially towards uh, World 8. What? I hit him. Alright. Didn't get enough momentum. Well, that was pretty useless.
I'm very tempted to just use a P-Wing and fly over this one, because... I know you don't use P-Wings super often, because, uh, yeah. But, honestly, screw it. I hate this level. <laughs> I hate, um, Big Bass so much. So, here's the thing with the P-Wing. The, the P-Wing is essentially the regular, um, Raccoon Mario, except your P-Meter is fully, like, active. But it only lasts the one stage. So maybe a bit of a waste, I will admit. But if you find yourself you're uh, having a lot of trouble, jeez. Never gotten this lucky with these things. Unfortunately, I do not remember where everything is. Didn't uh, commit it all to memory like the last one. Okay, those two corners, for sure, are stars. But at least you get the uh, the Raccoon Mario afterwards, so... Ooh, we are introduced to the bombs in this level. Um, All first. All right. Ooh, we got a water section. And of course, can never be that easy. I know. I figured it probably wouldn't be that easy. Come on. That hit me. There we go, we got a five. Five up. Okay. Let's take our pipe over to the castle. I don't know what that is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like a kappa type of... or... Is that what they are? I don't remember. Or, uh... Basically it looks like the, the imp from uh, Final Fantasy VI. This level introduces us to the, uh... <laughs> so many things happening all at once. Yeah, it introduces us, introduces us to the abacus thing. Uh, very slow, unfortunately. So, not the greatest means of transportation. Is there a block by chance? No, of course not. Alright, we got Wendy. Probably, I think a lot of people find her to be the most difficult. Probably because of her projectiles. Come on. No! 
killed by a life preserver. What a way to go. Alright, and now we see what happens when uh, you die at the airship. So, uh, they fly away, and you gotta go and find them again. Thankfully, since we've uh, cleared all of all of the levels, it's pretty easy to get back to. Frickin' heat. What? That didn't even touch me. I, I call BS on that. Yeah. We need to go down, unfortunately. Alright, Wendy, round two. Don't wanna land under her. Ah! I, I fell for it. I saw an opening. I, I missed it. Uh, do we want to use that? Let's use uh, the mushroom just to give ourselves the extra hit. Hopefully we can actually make it the Wendy this time without... Uh... Oh, you! <sighs> I call BS on that. He threw an extra high just to hit me. Come on. <laughs> Frickin' stage pushed me. You can actually jump over that uh, block up there, but I kind of forgot about it. Alright. I think the, the main thing is to let her fire her projectile without getting hit like that. I did say that Wendy is probably the one people have the hardest time with. Especially with her life preservers. What? Yeah, jeez. That was a bit of a far back one. Right. Let's see if this actually helps us. Eh. I suppose it could be worse. Right. Let's go ahead and use that, or use one of the fire flowers. The, uh, unfortunately the frog suits become Pretty useless after this world. Flower doesn't do much against uh, the enemies on the on the ship. Really, only the um, the guys with the wrenches. Let's 
That's such BS. Alright, screw it. <laughs> Never said I was good. I think the key with Wendy is to just be patient. Is that Elvis or Mario? <laughs> I think it's Mario. Kind of, kind of looks a little bit like Elvis. Woo! All right. What do you got? A music box. Greetings. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. All right. Welcome to Giant Land. So, we need to uh, go through the pipe. Start at the head of the turtle. So this is essentially a tiny huge island from uh, Mario 64, except uh, in Mario 3. Power-ups aren't uh, large, though, which is a little weird. Some of the blocks aren't large. I love how the the Koopa is just large, but the wings aren't. Oh. And the prop plant, the the. the fire spitting one they don't even bother with Doom. I swear if this is another fucking big bass level I'm going to be so annoyed vroom vroom must uh, show that I can vroom vroom Sorry, there's uh, some obnoxious guy out there uh, rooming his engine. Come on, Mario, could you please jump? Honestly, I'm kind of fine with getting mushrooms. It just means that I don't have to uh, get them. Oh, forgot that that's how they work. Okay. <laughs> so these are Sumo Brothers, uh, pretty much exclusive to this world. Um, since they are a large enemy, of course they have They have a uh, ground pound, of course. Ooh. 
I love how uh, when you hit it, it is so much faster than when it just does it normally. Anything? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now we got... That was weird. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, just use the mushroom. Oh, you jerk. Jumping while I'm jumping. How rude. The uh, cloud items are items that you can use to bypass a level. Obviously, if you uh, end up uh, biting the dust in a later level, uh, you will get sent back before um, you use the cloud item. So, be careful. nervous that it wasn't going to the heck happen there. Just ignored my uh, jump on it. As we can see, the uh, inhabitants underground are still all oh, are still uh, small. It appears that only the uh, only the above ground inhabitants are uh, large. I'm pretty sure there's a term in science for something like that. Unfortunately, I don't remember where things are right now. <laughs> okay, we are introduced to essentially uh, booze in the form of flames. Um, as soon as you pass them, they will start walking towards you. Uh, assuming you are not... Oh, shoot. Eh. What a dickheaded uh, <laughs> trap right there. If you don't get enough momentum, you're just squashed. <laughs> ah. I don't know how I managed to avoid that, but okay. I'll take it. No! jump. Alright. Fight. And we got a boom boom defeated. As per usual. Have you ever died fighting boom boom? Or at least any of the early versions of boom boom? It's okay. You can admit it. No, no one will laugh. 
that much. I'm pretty sure that I've died to Boom Boom at least once, but probably not as much on the earlier stages. Vampire uh, Mushroom. Ow. We got a little Kidu up there as well. <laughs> Homed in on me. Um, if you do lose a power-up before picking up the power-up you just uh, got from the block, it will uh, just act like a mushroom. Me, you, sneaky son of a gun. Oh, come on. Very sad if I had lost it. Try to avoid going towards the top, because that's where the Likido is. Where is it going to land? Alright, there we go. flower because it makes the hammer brothers so much easier <laughs> honestly I'm gonna go ahead and take up this one as well since it's fairly simple to do so uh, with the fire flower all right let's go ahead and take care of world five now I think this I think it's this level that's very tiny, huge island. One of them is definitely a uh, very tiny, huge island where you can essentially switch between the... Oh, we got homing homers in this one. Oh, my bind. They're not really homing homers in the sense... In the same sense as they constantly follow you. Hey, I think this is a tanuki suit. Yes, it is. Probably should not have destroyed those. So, the Tanuki suit is very similar to the Raccoon suit. The main difference is, is that there is a special power-up that can be activated while wearing the Tanuki suit. Um, Mushroom sandwich. I know I probably. I think it's this level actually. Oh, is there something up here? One up, nice. 
It's like, I'm pretty sure there's something here. Um, so it... So that is the special power-up uh, that you can do. Uh, it's essentially a statue. And it is more or less impervious to everything. Except for, like, um, lava. Like, instant kill stuff. Oh, you bastards. What a frickin' tease. My Tanuki! And yeah, this is the, the main gimmick uh, with this level, is that you can change between the large and small versions. Okay, never mind. Not worth it. Stupid Koopa got in my way. All right. Uh, do we want to use anything for this one? Uh, I guess let's just see what we can do. Jump wasn't high enough. Eh. Oh well. Round two. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> it's like I should not be holding right as I'm falling. So yeah, uh, these. They're called donuts, but uh, they're um, essentially platforms that can just kind of fall. Uh, if... oh, this is a terrible placement for this button. Oh, you. Pretty sure this. Uh layout is actually in Mario 2 or Mario Mario 1. Why do you always go for the direction that I... Ah. God damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if that door opens uh, when you hit the button. Or if it is strictly uh, only visible, or only there when you hit the P-switch. It is a good thing we stocked up on lives, though. No, come back here. You do not go into the ragu. It is actually there, uh, even when you uh, haven't clicked on the thing, or haven't clicked the P-switch. We'll actually be seeing these uh, type of platforms in a later level, or in a later world. This one is fine. Although, there's probably an item in that box. The only question is, is this going to put me right on the piranha plant? Nope. Okay, good. I think we do want 
the item. Yes. care of the threat. They do disappear after a little bit. Uh, just something to be aware of. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Hey! Another... Uh, oh. Nope, just lives. I mean, three one-ups is still pretty nice. And it does uh, put you a little farther into the... ...into the uh, fortress, so you don't have to do some of the nonsense that uh, would be much more dangerous. Right? Another spade. Eesh. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it feels like we're getting a lot of these. Unfortunately, I don't remember where everything is. Let's say... Nope, that's a star. I do not remember where things are. <laughs> Part of the problem is I don't know if I'm remembering the... Godzilla! Or is that, uh... No, no that's Bubble Bobble. <laughs> Definitely looks, uh, like a little Bubble Bobble, uh, character. One of these levels essentially requires that you uh, uh, take the abacus across. Thankfully it's not this level. <laughs> uh, this is definitely the uh, fire jet <laughs> airship. It's like, keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Do not want to uh, get hit by the Fire jets. Interesting. That one is just not doing anything. Is it like a random bullet bill launcher? I mean, they use the same sprites for it. Yeah, case with the hot ass right there. <laughs> this one's so slow. I think all of them are relatively the same speed. This one definitely feels a bit slower. Like, I know there is a jet up there. Alright. Okay. I don't remember which one this is. Probably one of the more forgettable ones. I'm pretty sure his shell is used in Mario Kart, so... <laughs> Alright, sweet. That is it for uh, World 4. We are halfway through. Although, <laughs> the first half is definitely the, uh, the easier half. It only gets uh, much harder from here. What do we got? The 
thief who stole the whistle has escaped the east side of the sand dunes. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is more for, like, repeat playthroughs or when uh, you need to, like, reset. But, alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.